Hello! Thank you so much for joining me. Uh, there was a little bit of a delay for a second, so hopefully it says I'm live. I hope I'm live. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. This is the first Friday after Christmas. It is the last Friday Night Live of 2023. Sorry I couldn't come live to you last week, but whew, I was busy, busy, busy creating 148 Luminary cards. I love those Night Divine dies, and if you don't have them and you celebrate Christmas, you should probably think about getting them before they go away in just a few days. Um, but uh, I'm okay if I don't see them for a little bit longer, just because I've seen a lot of them. Uh, but I do love them, and uh, they'll be ones I don't part with for sure. So anyway, thank you so much for joining me tonight. Now, I was planning on doing something a little bit different tonight, and that is using your input to create something. But I'm gonna need somebody online to be able to tell me what to do um, via the chat box. So it looks like somebody else just popped on. So if you could go in the chat box and let me know who you are, that would be great. Um, just because I need you to find the chat box so you can tell me what to do tonight. Uh, so I'm going to turn you down because I've got a few things to show you before I, uh, before we get started tonight. So let me turn you down and put you in the holder. So let's see here. All right, I'm, I'm going to get my keyboard out of the way. So I thought I'd start as we're waiting for people to come on and I'd show you some of the Christmas cards that I got this year. Now there is one that's missing. Technically it's a thank you card, not a Christmas card, but it is Christmassy and it arrived before Christmas. So I think that counts, but I can't find it. I've set it aside especially to show people tonight and I can't find it. Well, Susan, when I find it, I will show it because it's a beautiful card. So this was a card from one of my team members. Nope, sorry wrong. This was um, a card from one of my customers, Andrea. And so she sent this little cute snowman looking from above. And you can see the snowman is just made with some, some circles and some, you know, added a little hat here, um, some arms, a scarf, and then you can add in some of the other details. So that's super cute. And then I had this card, this card I think is from, yep, yeah, uh, one of my team members, Jeff. So last year we used the Scotty dog um, at an open house, I think. Maybe, I don't know when it was, but he's um, added a little bit more to it. He added a cute little nose to him and a little uh, rhinestone to his bow. That's really, really cute. Here is, um, I think this paper is uh, retired, but look at all the sparkles that they added. Um, this is from one of my team members, Leslie. She lives in New York. So just really calm and blues are so calming to me at Christmas. And then I've got this one. I think this one's from another team member. I think this is from Julie. It's a fun fold. Oh, let me see. Yep, it's from my team member, Julie. So you open it up. And it just, um, it, it's, it stands up on its own. Well, you can't see it, but there's like this little square in here. See? And it just, it, it kind of stands up. It's got a, um, a little bit of a depth to it when you open it up that way. And then we've got this one. This one is from um, another one of my uh, close by, um, customers, Nancy from North Berwick. And I just love just, just the simpleness of words is, um, you know, it really comes across well at Christmas. Here we've got this cute little, I love the Aspen tree dies. And this is from Thea, who is from Sanford. And she used the uh, designer series paper that is um, one of the online exclusives. Remember, if you're watching, go ahead and say hi in the chat. 
Uh, this is another team member. Um, this is uh, Vivian. She lives up the road from me. A little window card here. Now, this is not a homemade card. This is from my aunt and uncle in Dover, but it's interesting because some of the cards I made this Christmas look almost exactly like this. They, they have the nativity scene here and it was blue and it had little stars in the back. So I just thought that was funny how it just mimicked some of the cards that I had made. Um, this card right here, um, this was from my sister-in-law and brother, Susan and Philip. And now I don't know if Susan has taken up card making or if her sister-in-law is still making in her cards and giving them to her. So either way, pretty pretty. Again, this is using the One Horse Open Sleigh Designer Series paper from the online exclusives. Here we have a, um, a simple card using that just lets the Designer Series paper speak for itself. And this is from Ruth, who I just spoke with Ruth today. She um, is in Florida, where it is warmer than here, but not warm by Florida standards. I love this card. I almost wish that I'd gotten this Noel before it went out. Um, but this is from Diana, uh, who lives in Alfred. Um, really, really pretty card. This is from my sister, Tony, who's also a team member. And uh, she made it, the, the owl set, and I believe the owl set's going away too. Um, just, and she's got some trees and there's some shadow. So these trees were stamped and she used a shadow effect. So she used a reverse stamping kind of thing to get this down here. Looks really, really great. And that's that. Um, this is from another team member, Sandy, who is in South Dakota. And this card was, um, I think it was an add-on for the cards and envelope were an add-on to one of the paper pumpkin kits. And so then she just took this word set that was from Night Divine, the stamp set, and just embossed it on a piece of cherry cobbler and stuck it on them. So so simple, but look how beautiful that card is. So that's what I have to show you tonight. And now, um, aside from when I find that card by um, Susan to show you, and maybe some others that I probably have lost along the way, um, I, I'm putting Christmas away. So let's see who what we've got going on here. So I posted that tonight I was going to be letting you decide what project that we're going to work on. And it's gonna feature the Be My Valentine suite of products. So the suite of products, and I can't show you the inside of the catalog, but it comes from this mini catalog that goes live January 4th. Lots of great things in here, including this ice cream thing. But um, one of the things in there is this Be Mine Suite. Now, of course, it is kind of Valentine's themed. However, you can certainly use this for non-Valentine cards as well. Um, it does definitely have a lot of, you know, love and, and, and fun sentiments for Valentine's Day. But this bee and the flowers and the, and the uh, hive, well, not the hive, but the honeycomb um, will go a long ways anyway. So that suite features the stamp set and the coordinating punch. And look at this punch. So this is the bee punch. This combined with this, make a bee, because these are the wings. But look, they're hearts also. So what a fantastic uh, multi-use punch this is. And then the um, part of the suite is this bordered ribbon that comes in sweet sorbet with a white border. It's pretty, it's very pliable, it's very, um, you know, it's it's not going to be too, too bulky. Let me wrap that up a little bit. Um, I've used some of these gems. These are the adhesive-backed hearts and flowers. Now, these are a little bit different because um, they're not the sparkly things. They're kind of more the epoxy feel to it. Um, but they're all sorts of different shapes, hearts and flowers and they coordinate with this stamp set 
You've got then the paper, the designer series paper is lots of fun as well. Some with bees on it, some with just some um, of the honeycomb shape. Lots of bee paper. I love this plaid. We've got some red with some daisies on it. More bees some honey jars and you can cut these out if you don't mind fussy cutting which i know a lot of you do um you know you can you can make these a focal point all themselves i'm going to have some of these of my ideas displayed at my upcoming um, celebration launch party which is on the first from noon to two and uh, i'm looking forward to that if you haven't RSVP but would like to come, please RSVP because that'll get you a, a free gift. RSVPs are not mandatory, but they are helpful in making sure I have enough supplies for the three free projects that I will let you create. And so you can see the rest of this paper. I like the stripe paper as well. So just some pretty, pretty paper in there. And then the last part of the suite are these huge pillow boxes. So, if you are watching and you can, so there's one of you watching besides me that I can tell. Those of you who aren't logged in, I don't think I can tell. Um, but if you can go in the chat and tell me, do you want me to make a card or do you want me to make a pillow box? And that'll help me decide the direction I'm gonna go in. Uh, either way, we're gonna use this Be Mine Suite. And um, I've, got, I've got different, uh, tools ready, ready to go. Um, I've asked a couple times already for uh, a response in the chat. So it might be that you can't find the chat. I don't know. You have to swipe left or swipe right or I don't know. I'm on a computer, so I can't tell you what it looks like on whatever you're, you're, you're doing. Um, so you know what? Let's go ahead and I'm going to guess that you are telling me to go ahead and do the pillow box. So the pillow box comes all scored and you can stamp right on this pillow box or you can do something else and I'll show you that in just a second. So it doesn't have, um, so when you're folding this, it's a really heavy weight. So you just kind of coax it along these score lines here. And you've got nice big slabs of adhesive here that will help keep that closed so see how i'm just sort of bending along those score lines and it bends pretty easily and that's what's going to make that box come together pretty pretty easily so i just have my finger on the back side Ooh, look at my son asked me today what would you do to your finger mom well, this is what happens when you have a scoring. I'm going to show you exactly what I did. I was cutting some stuff for some swaps, and somehow I was, I had my finger under here, and I was just moving the blade out of the way, and I got myself. Yep, that blade is sharp. Probably not as sharp as before it ran over my finger, but you know. Let's see, so we're just coaxing this along here. All right, I think I've got them all coaxed. Now, if you are going to stamp, you want to stamp with it flat, right? Because once it's open, it's you really can't stamp on it. So I'm gonna come in with my blending brush and my balmy blue ink, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a sky. Um, I just need a little bit of paper here to kind of get some off it. And I'm gonna, gonna just add some blue to this. I'm gonna make it a blue box instead of just a white box. And I don't care that it's not a solid blue. In fact, I'd rather it not be a solid blue only because then it looks a little bit more skyish. So if you read the, um, the little description here, I was busy getting ready and doing some swaps that were due today in the mail. Um, so 
I didn't really have time to think ahead what I was going to do. But that's all right. We're all set now. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this in and this piece will go right on top of here. And then this piece comes right on top of there. So you've got those pieces and then these guys will just fold in and those don't get those don't get glued down at all. Okay? So let's go ahead and put this together. You don't very often see square pillow boxes. A little bit, a little bit different. Come on, let's close you up. There we go. Just align those sides and press down. We were out eating with my son before my husband and I went to a movie. And uh, that same dinner where we were talking about my little, ooh, ooh, this is really sticky. So if you're wondering what the Darth Vader sound is, it's me huffing on this so I can get that glue to release just a little bit so I can get this in place. A little bit better. So we can fold it the way it's supposed to be. There we go. So we still have this little bit of a blue on here, so that's gonna act like our sky. We can obviously put something in here and wherever this last little notch shows, that points down to the bottom. So this is going to be the top of my box and it's really quite sturdy. It's it's very, very sturdy. It, it would take a, a bit for me to crush that. So it's not regular cardstock, it's more like chipboard. All right, let's go ahead and bring in our B stamp set here. And we're going to See, I'm not quite sure which order I'm, I'm going to like best. Stamping and then, or stamping the body and then stamping the detail or vice versa. Let's go ahead and we'll stamp the body first. So one of the things I got for Christmas was a nice rolly cart. But apparently the things that I wanted on it aren't on it yet. So I'll just reach where normally goes uh, so here's the body of the bee and obviously you could make the bee any color you wanted and now let's go ahead and bring in a black I'll bring in my memento black that's the color you should use when you're dealing with the photopolymer Stays on is not recommended for photopolymer. And we're just going to line this up here. There we go. And then let's see. I need to put a little face on him. Let me get out a little teeny tiny block. Now in here, there are a bunch of little faces and it's probably easier if I show you. So there's this one. It's kind of like a side eye, I guess. And this one's kind of a happy face. He's got his eyes closed and a smile on his face. This one's a winky face and this is just a regular smiley face. So uh, funny story, I was uh, on Facebook this week and one of my friends posted a funny story about how her daughter chastised her for um, using the wrong emojis in some posts and that she was flirting more often than not in her posts. And so she was educating the rest of us. And I, my comment to her was, I just try to figure out, like I can't even see the emojis that I'm posting half the time. So I'm hoping that, you know, they're appropriate. <laughs> Let's just put a little face on there. There's a winky face right there. Now if I use my punch upside down here. Okay, 
And so there's my little bee. And now I need the wings. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, get out these little wings right here. And I think we're gonna go, I'm gonna go with the balmy blue. Do I want balmy blue on balmy blue? Do I want those wings? Hmm. No, I think, let's go ahead with the petal pink. I think I got some petal pink out here somewhere. Yep, I did. I'm gonna get out my little petal pink scrap here. And you know what? It might be easier for me right now just to punch out these two hearts and then stamp on the wings. Let me see how that works. Petal pink, we get out the ink. This is just gonna be very subtle on the wings. Yep, pretty subtle indeed. And you can just, you can just um, attach the wings in the back like that and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna do that with a glue dot. See if I can find my glue dots right here. I'm just putting it on the bottom, the base of the right side of the heart. Hello, Phyllis, thanks for joining me tonight. Phyllis, where are you from? I'd love to know. And so there we have this. We can just put this little bee right on here. Um, maybe we close it with a piece of this sweet sorbet ribbon. I'm just playing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you the swaps I did today because that's what I did do. And So you can close this so there's no peeking if you want to. Just tie a little ribbon, try a little bow here. Oh, you're from Maryland. What's the weather like down in Maryland? It finally stopped raining up here, which is nice. What I really want is snow. And that's what I'm really not getting. So I'm just gonna put this on right here with a couple of little dimensionals. And I'm guessing, um, because it looks like you have a business name, Lala, are you a Stampin' Up! demonstrator? So we have just this cute little thing right here. And now, hey, why not add some of the flowers just to get in a lot of the products from the sweetest possible. Uh, let's get my take your pick tool. It's in the 50s today, which, you know, it would be very warm if you were in Maine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go ahead and get some flowers of different colors. Just put that one there, and we'll put a little odd-shaped daisy. Oh, I can't pick it up. We'll put that one up there, and let's uh, let's take one of these hearts. There we go, and we have just a really quick and cute treat holder. Now. I think because I am, I'm not gonna put any words on this, for one thing, it's too late. I mean, I could open it up and, and try to flatten it a bit, but that's not gonna work. You might be able to stamp a small saying on here. It's pretty sturdy. Let's see if there's a small one. There is, it says, be mine. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not gonna stamp on it. I don't know who I'm gonna give it to, but if I put something like be mine or I love you and kind of narrows who I can give it to, doesn't it? So, uh, let me show you the swaps I've been working on. 
Uh, yes, I am in a cold state, but it's not really cold now because if it were cold, it would be snowing, which, as I mentioned, I wish it was snowing, but it's not. So let's see if I can show you what my swaps were today that I made. So I'm going to swap with some other demonstrators. And because I am in the great state of Maine, which is the blueberry state, I made this card with a new stamp set that's coming out in the mini catalog. And then I also took part in a celebration swap. And I made this card. It features a little sloth. Um, I think I have that stamp set handy. Let's show them. This is Jungle Pals, and this is a celebration stamp set. That's a $50 level, so if you spend $50 during celebration, you can choose this one for free. There's also plenty of other things that you can choose. Um, and then as a $100 level, you can choose the Jungle Pals dies, which coordinate with the stamp set. Uh, so... Um, we've got all the animals can be cut out. I love the, I think that's a meerkat. I'm not sure. Um, I love the little toucan though. We've got a gator or a crocodile. Uh, I can't really remember which one's which. And then we've got a little tiger. So these would make great kid cars, but also like, this is just a, you know, what's new? I, you know, if you have a, you know, um, hang in there, you could, uh, if you have a hang in there sentiment, that would look great on that card as well. But these were the two swaps that I um, finished today. And so I'm happy to get those guys in the mail and can't wait to see what I get back. So let me just turn you around. I'm going to take it out of the holder now. Sorry. And turn. Oops, that's my computer. <laughs> Hi. So thanks so, so much for joining me this Friday night. I hope that you are going to have a great New Year. I hope you have a great New Year's Eve celebration, but I hope especially that your 2024 is a really great one. And I will see you for my next Friday Night Live in 2024. Have a great weekend.